Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and today I'm going to be unboxing our Pro V 42W.430 and I'll also be going over some of the features and details of the range hood. All right, so I went ahead and unpackaged the range hood and this is what it should look like right as it comes out of the box. As you can see, there's no blower inside right now just because we have a few different options for blowers. Um, we've got an inline 1300 CFM option that's um, compatible with this range hood. And then we've also got a 1200 CFM local blower and a 1700 CFM local blower as well. Um, what that means is that the local blower will sit right inside of the range hood, whereas the inline blower will be up in your ductwork run somewhere in your attic. So getting back to this, this is how the range hood should look when it comes out of the box. This is your grease tray that will be set in the bottom right here when you put your filters in. This is what the filters will look like when you bring them out of the box. The filters are inside this. And then we've also got our power cord and hardware in this package. All right, so I went ahead and unboxed the filters. So with this particular model, um, two spacers are also included. So these will go in between the filters. Um, and then there is this white protective film. It simply peels off. So don't worry, it's not a white spacer. <laughs> so I went ahead and installed these ones. Um, and then I'll install this spacer. So all you'll want to do to install it is slide the back end up and then the bottom end down and it sits right there. And we'll go ahead and do the filter the same way. Back end goes up and the bottom end goes down, slides right into place. And that's what it should look like. This model has a unique touch panel in the sense that we have some rocker switches here and then knobs as well. So it's kind of a variable speed thing, whereas some of our other models have four or six speeds for the, the blower. So right here is the rocker switch for the lights, and then you use the knob to control the brightness of the lights. And then the same thing for the fan, except um, you'll control the fan speed instead of light brightness. These two switches right here are for the heat lamps, and they can be controlled separately as well. Um, for these lights, they are halogen, but you can request um, that we switch them out for LED if you'd like. So this is what the top of the range hood looks like. Obviously, you can see that we rotated it, so this is going to be the top portion of the range hood. Um, this area right here will be filled with the blower once you select which blower you'd like, whether it be the 1200 CFM or the 1700 CFM local blower. Um, 1300 CFM is a different story as it's located in your attic, so you won't have a blower here in that case. Um, anyways, your blower will be right here. Cool thing about this model, it also has the option to rotate the blower to the back. So if you have pre-existing ductwork or a new build um, and you want your ductwork going out the wall instead of through your ceiling, um, we can rotate the blower on this model to vent through the back of the unit. So that's super cool as well. This is what you should receive when you order the Pro V42W.430. We also carry it in sizes 30 inch all the way up to 60 inch, so you have a wide variety there as well for options and sizes. Um, comment down below on which feature you like the most. I know this one has a few different options, which are really cool. And give us a call if you have any other questions.